Hey gang, Mustache Mike here, and of course, welcome to my corner of the workshop. You know, as much as we all love Chip hanging around helping in the workshop, that boy has the nose of a bloodhound when it comes to finding my gummy worm stash. No matter where I put him, he finds him, and soon, they're as gone as the dodo. Aha, here's the gummy bears. Now, while flipping through the phone book out there in the shop outhouse, of course, for research purposes, it came to me, why not make one of them book safes where you can hide things in, just like in the movies? So I guess the first thing is to pick out a book. Now, any hardcover book will do, but you want to consider overall thickness because this has got to fit in the throat opening of your scroll saw. Now, in order to cut out the pages on the scroll saw, we're going to need to stabilize those pages. So the first thing I did was cut me out two pieces of Luan I wanted about three quarters of an inch border around the edge, so accordingly I marked it out on my uh, Luan. Now in my case I chose to have a few pages uh, hiding this opening before and after, so I made the appropriate selection at this time and set my two pieces in. It's also going to be important too to tape back those pages, they're going to keep flipping back and forwards in your way. But if you have an older book like this where the pages are um, kind of yellowed, use a good quality blue tape so you can get them off without rips. Okay, so we're ready to start compressing these center pages that we want to cut out the middle on. I cut a piece of backer board and laid uh, my book on that because I'm going to use drywall screws. And you'll notice that I'm putting in four drywall screws on the inside of the line. Don't want to do it on the outside or you're going to have those holes uh, permanently there. And as I flip it over here, you're, you're going to see that those uh, drywall screws are going to stick through um, just a little bit. Now obviously those points will dig into your scroll saw table when you make the cut. You need to uh, remove that. Because this is actually going to be a pierce cut, when we cut this out on the scroll saw, you'll need to put a pierce hole. It is very important before you start cutting to hold the book up against your scroll saw blade. Make sure the arm is pushed all the way down to the bottom of the stroke and make sure there is clearance. Insert your blade. I'm using the number seven skip tooth here. Of course you can start in any direction. Uh, go slow. This compacted paper is definitely different. Initially, I thought I would just rubber cement all the inside edges of the paper to keep them from moving. But then I thought, you know, that's just going to make kind of a rubbery mess. So I decided to use four little pieces of uh, thick veneer to encase that inside box. I did, though, use rubber cement to mount those pieces uh, to the inside of the paper. Use a, a liberal amount. Um, I wanted it to kind of to soak into the paper. It's a sticky business, so kind of watch you don't get it all over. I also use some tacky cement to glue together the last couple of uh, sheets on both sides of the box to kind of just stiffen and stabilize. I then decided to cut out a little piece of veneer to put in the bottom of the box. So use some tacky cement uh, to hold this down and everything was allowed to kind of set up and dry at this point. Hey, it came out pretty nice. So after it all dried up, I grabbed them gummy bears and gave it a try. Let Chip McDowell find them now. Boy, this stinks. I can't find the gummy bears. 